In this tutorial, we're going to introduce the accelerometer sensor and show how it can be used to move a ball or an image sprite around on a canvas. So from the Drake AppCamp website, click on AppCamp Part 4. This is the accelerometer section, but there's no files to download, so go ahead and click on the App Inventor homepage, and then click on the orange Create button. All right, we'll create a new project called Accelerometer. And then from here, go to the drawing and animation drawer and drag out a canvas. We'll leave the canvas one name, that's fine for now, but they'll change the width to be fill parent and the height to be say 350 pixels. We'll be good. And then I'm gonna drag out a ball for our purposes. Leave it the name as ball one, that's fine for now. And also I'm going to um, drag out under the uh, sensors drawer, drag out the accelerometer sensor. Okay. Um, you can go ahead and connect to your device if you want to. The uh, emulator doesn't quite work for accelerometer for obvious reasons. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the blocks button. From here, if the accelerometer sensor has a block called when accelerometer sensor dot acceleration change, that's what we're looking for here. And there are three arguments, the X and the Y and the Z. These range in values from negative 9.8 to positive 9.8. It's basically the meters per second squared, the acceleration of gravity on the various accelerometer dimensions. So um, in this case, I wanna move the ball based off of those values. So I'm gonna have the ball object and scroll down here to the move to block. Right, I'm gonna basically have the ball move to its current position plus something based off of the X or the Y accelerometer change. So let's get the current value of the X for the ball. And I'm going to click the add the plus sign and get the add that to that X Excel argument, just like that. And I'll do a copy and a paste and do a very similar thing for the Y component. Now, every device is different. Um, in my experience, some of these devices, they should actually have the chain from X and Y should be switched. Um, or you might have to have a subtraction here instead of an addition. So go ahead and, and test this on your device. But if you roll, if you move the device around, you should have that ball essentially rolling around on that canvas. So then after you learn this, you could apply this to lots of different apps. You could have, instead of using the mouse the, the finger dragging a paddle around for the Pong game, for example, you could use the accelerometer to move the paddle around or use the accelerometer to change the, the position of the ball in the golf, the mini golf app. So you can make it kind of like a marble game. Lots of possibilities here. Accelerometers are really easy to implement. So go have fun.